हेलो एवरीवन आज मेरे साथ है उज्ज्वल शर्मा वेलकम उज्ज्वल और 2023 में सिलेक्टेड हुए हैं उज्ज्वल एन पी में अभी 2024 में वैकेंसी आया है जो कि 400 वैकेंसीज हैं जिसमें कि 150 वैकेंसीज हैं मैकेनिकल की तो उज्ज्वल से हम इनका एन पी का इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस कैसा था ये जानेंगे और इनसे क्या क्या क्वेश्चन पूछे गए थे ये भी जानेंगे और एंड में हम उज्ज्वल से ये पूछेंगे कि ये क्या टिप्स देना चाहेंगे तो उज्ज्वल वेलकम आप प्लीज अपने बारे में पहले बताओ कि अपने बारे में बता दो आप ब्रीफ में थैंक यू सचिन फॉर हैविंग मी हियर सो हाय एवरीबॉडी माय नेम इज उज्ज्वल शर्मा आई एम फ्रॉम पाली डिस्ट्रिक्ट राजस्थान सो आई डिड माय टेन एंड ट्वेल्व फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल देयर आफ्टर दैट आई डिड माई बैचलर फ्रॉम राजस्थान टेक्निक यूनिवर्सिटी कोटा इन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन फ्रॉम कॉलेज आई गॉट प्लेस इन टू थ्री प्राइवेट प्राइवेट कंपनीज बट एज यू नो दैट कोर पैकेज ऑफ मैकेनिकल इज वेरी लेस नाउड इज सो आई चूज टू प्रेफर गेट फॉर पी एस यू देन आई प्रिपेयर वन ईयर फॉर गेट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी माई गेट स्कोर वॉज नॉट अप टू द मार्क सो आई वेंट फॉर एम टेक फ्रॉम एन आई टी जयपुर इन डिजाइन ब्रांच फ्रॉम देयर आई गॉट आई गॉट पास आउट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फ्रॉम देयर so after m tech i have two choices like i was selected in a r and d company uh, and i was also selected for a phd in phd in structural mechanics from iit bombay so i prefer to go for a work experience so i selected that company and i worked there for one year and till then working there for one year i was also parallel preparing for gate and related exams so from 2021 gate score I was qualified to sit into NIT interview, and also for NPCL interview. From God Gaze, I selected in both of them, and I choose NIT. I choose NPCL over NIT, and today I'm here in training in NPCL as a sending officer. So, Ujjwal, आप अपने मतलब interview में क्या-क्या questions पूछे गए थे और आपका interview हुआ कहाँ था और ये कब हुआ था मतलब और ये आप इसके बारे में बता दो. So, I was working in Chennai. Uh, in R&D company that is like 50 km from Chennai so i choose a interview place where that is near to me uh, so kalpakkam npcl has a plant in kalpakkam so interview was also holding there so i choose kalpakkam that is near chennai so my interview was held in kalpakkam only i went there before one day uh, at the guest house of npcl and the next day our, our interview so my interview was my interview experience was great panel was very supporting and that's that's all fine to ujjwal aap se main ab puchna chahunga ki kya kya questions puche gaye the kyunki viewers yahi janna chahenge main unko yahi hai ki questions kya kya the jisse ki unko kuch fayda ho sake so when you enter into the room of uh, that an interview panel of mpcl you will see that there will be a guy uh, who who have who having a name plate on front of him that is that will be chairman of that uh, interview panel and five six more member will be in there so at my time one chair panel from north side was there and uh, four men and one women were also assigning them in the intro panel so when i enter into the intro panel i greeted them uh, namaste sir and he greeted me back namaste as you know the npcl promote hindi <laughs> so so i was like doing research in background like what npcl produce what are the things that npcl we need so i was preparing for that so when i enter into the interview uh, the interview panel in front of them they unhone kaha aaj hi baith jaiye main baitha and i gave my intro to them that i am working in a r and d company and i did my masters in design so my intro was basically revolving around machine design only and some basic thermodynamics question so when i uh, when i greeted them the first uh, member of that interview has given me a sheet of paper in front of me on that sheet of paper there was a shaft which is having two bearing or uh, on both side of the shaft having one pulley one spur gear one helical gear and he said me that design this thing so at first i got nervous but uh, i combined myself and i try to uh, i make that sfd uh, i make that uh, sfd there and for pulley uh, what i did was uh, uh, pulley uh, i i post two t1 and t2 force on that pulley 
and then t1 by t2 is equal to e power mu theta i that's how i design pulley and for that spur gear and helical gear i use just lewis form factor and tell them that uh, gear design is mostly taking considering by bending only so the bending stress will be there yeah. and for that uh, he got convinced that i know how to design this thing so he pull back that paper also again <laughs> then he push me one more paper on that paper he was having a coupling which is having two joints on top of each other so he asked me to design this thing that thing also so i chooses that uh, shear stress because i for coupling i need to design the bolt mm -hmm. so for that i chooses the shear stress formula that is tau is equal to 60t upon pi d cube mm -hmm. and uh, I know tau is equal to f by 4 pi by 4 d square, mm. so that's how I design that uh, coupling, and then pull he back. Then he again pull back that paper. <laughs> then we went to the next guy. Oh, yeah. The next guy asked me question about uh, did you learn heard about bearings? Mm. I said yes, sir. I heard about bearing. Yeah. So he asked me give me what is a bearing. So I give him the definition of bearing like uh, if two if two members are in motion, the supporting one will be the bearing. So I he asked me what are the types of bearing. I said that it can be many types. It depends on or on its uh, whether we divide on its load, whether on divides on it uh, uh, on its orientation, whether on divides on point uh, point contact or line contact. So then he asked me what type of bearing that we use in power plant. So I studied that thing because I know that they will ask this question around power plant only. Oh. So I know that uh, we use uh, hydrostatic bearing in turbine. So I said that because turbine soft diameter is very high and mass is also very high. So I say that we use uh, hydrostatic bearing in turbine, and hydro dynamic bear we use uh, where we have a less mass of a uh, soft because that will be needing more speed with less weight. Mm -hmm. So I said them that well, I give them definition of hydrostatic hydro dynamic bearing. He so got convinced. Basically, you gave the example of practical power plant yes, from yes, power plant. <laughs> it yes. was really good. Okay, okay. Please continue. I believe that uh, if you give by example to them, they will be like you. You need to be more connected to the practical thing because mm -hmm. you will be working here in a power plant. Mm -hmm. So I chooses this approach to go to that interview. Then the next, uh, then he asked me about what are the what is lubricant, what are the characteristic of a lubricant. If you he asked me if you want a lubricant oil, so how do you choose a lubricant oil? So I said that uh, sir, first purpose of lubricant oil is to to not to make friction between two parts so and provide them relative motion and it should not restrict its relative motion also so its viscosity should not be too high its conductivity should be in that way that it not get heated up and its chemical affinity it should in it should be in this way that uh, uh, it should not affect or rust other <coughs> element which is in contact with it so yeah he got convinced in that answer too then we went to next guy he asked me oh, have you studied tom i said yes sir he asked me what is mechanical advantage so i gave him by i gave him this example that uh, with considering power equal we play with forces mm. so power is equal to being power is equal to f into v mm. so we can increase f by decreasing velocity power will be same but we can play with it mm. i gave him example of toggle mechanism in which uh, we produces a very high force mm. to break the stone but with very less less velocity if v tends to zero then f tends to infinite mm. so yeah he got also convinced then he asked me that uh, ujwal can you design do you know can you design a pulley mechanism by which you can uh, you you can balance a 100 kg mass with a 25 kg mass mm. i said yes sir i can i can do that mm. but we need more than one pulley mm. so he want he said that then go on to the board and draw those mechan draw this thing mm. so i went to the mechanism I draw a pulley. Uh -huh. uh, one side of that pulley was 100 kg mass. Uh -huh. Other side was that uh, attach one more pulley that is connected to earth, and one side was again connected to that pulley that is connected to earth, and other side was 25. So uh -huh. basically, we arrange that in such a way that 25, 25, 50, uh -huh. and then 50, 50 will be 100, and so we can manage to pull that 100 kg of mass with the help of 25 kg of mass. So he got impressed, I think, because like I answer this question like more less second. Oh, so, so you did not take any time in giving uh, the answer so i was, yeah he was impressed by that but i would suggest that take your time in an interview mm. don't rush mm. i was lucky that i didn't get uh, 
wrong answer uh-huh. i was correct at the time but take your take 1 to 5 second uh-huh. for thinking then give the answer uh-huh. then we went to the next panel member she was a lady member she asked me what are the thermodynamics laws so i give your definition of first 0 to f- f- zero to third law there are four laws of thermodynamics then we went to the last member he asked me do you know what is renkan cycle i said yes the power producing cycle he asked me where where do we use that renkan cycle so i said them we use it in a power plant so he want he said how how we can increase renkan cycle efficiency so i got fumbled in that and i said reheating regenerative and intercooling So it was a mistake by I my from my side. Again, you trust in the answer. Yes, you yes, were yes. in hurry to give yes, the answer, yes, yes. and like, uh, okay. and I was working also, so I didn't have that much time to recall all those things. Uh, so I was th- I was having like two days leave before that interview. In oh. those two days only, I have uh, like prepare for this those things. Uh, so I mix that uh, gas gas cycle with that rain can cycle. <laughs> But uh, when he sent me to the board. Uh, and tell me to draw that uh, regenerative reheating and intercooling i draw reheating i draw regenerative also but when i when i got to draw the intercooling i recall that thing that it's a steam cycle mm. you cannot go like say, after saturated liquid mm. so i said sorry sir i didn't know this thing the <laughs> panel was very supporting mm. the chairman sir said this thing to me that apni sorry mang lena apni अपने को गलत मान लेना भी बड़ी बात होती है सो आई गॉट लॉस बाय आई गॉट रिलैक्स बाय हिज वर्ड्स देन आई गॉट सीटेड अगेन ऑन द सीट देन ही आस्क मी क्वेश्चन अबाउट डू यू नो अबाउट सील मैकेनिकल सील और एनी अदर सील आई सेड यस सर सील इज समथिंग दैट रेस्ट्रिक्ट फ्लो ऑफ फ्लूड फ्रॉम वन कंपार्टमेंट टू अनदर कंपार्टमेंट एंड ही आस्क मी लाइक वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ सील Uh, I didn't read. Nobody read I that seal. I think we don't study seals in the meeting. So no, we don't if have you that much of idea. Uh-huh. Everybody read Vibhi Bandari only, uh-huh. and in that Vibhi Bandari you will never, uh, you will not see seal uh-huh. because it's not in the core curriculum of BTEC. Uh-huh. So I said, sir, seal is a device that restrict flow of from one container to another container. Then he asked me. He then he asked me those question like, suppose we have a shaft which is rotating. Uh-huh. There is one seal on it. and there is one shaft which is not rotating mm. there is one also seal on it mm. so what are the different type of seal mm. so ek jo ghoom rahi hai mm. that will be dynamic seal mm. so one jo ek uh, ruki hui hai mm. that will be a static seal so ek definition to yahi hogi dynamic seal and static seal so he was supporting pehchan mm. the chairman was very supporting mm. then he asked everybody do, do anybody have any other question mm. so everybody said no mm. so so he said thank you jol for coming mm-hmm. uh, so when i w- about to leave he said go and study seal <laughs> i said okay sir i will study seal uh-huh. and then i greeted all the member of interview and then i come back uh-huh. there was a tent arranged by npcl in uh-huh. which we they were serving that lunch so i was having that lunch and then went back to chennai uh-huh. to to my job so i think uh, if you are confident enough to answer the questions the panel members are also support you If yes the the one thing that i want to say is that don't get hesitate uh, share all the things that you have if uh, you think that your answer can be wrong uh, to take 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 5 10 second but uh, speak uh, because the panel member of uh, npcl inter panel member is very supportive uh, they will support you if you get hesitate if you get uh, if you get a stick or if you get if if you if you stop anywhere uh, so i would mai ye kahunga ke jitna ho sake utna apne aap ko dene ki koshish karo और ओपन योर माइंड बाय अभी अभी पढ़ लो जितना टाइम है एक दो महीने पढ़ सकते हो बट इंटरव्यू के लिए तुम्हें डरने की जरूरत नहीं है दे वर वेरी सपोर्टिंग कोई तुम्हें वहाँ रैगिंग नहीं लेना चाहता और सो उज्जवल इन दी एंड आई वांट टू आस्क यू व्हाट काइंड ऑफ टिप्स यू वांट टू गिव टू द एक्सपेरेंट्स हु आर गोइंग टू गिव द इंटरव्यू इन द 224 सो 224 फॉर मैकेनिकल गाइस आई कैन से लाइक योर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट दैट दे विल आस्क यू व्हाट इज योर फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट दे शुड बी इंक्लाइन विद एनपीसीएल एनपीसीएल कोर टीम दैट दे आर वर्किंग ऑन लाइक बेसिक थर्मोडायनेमिक्स यू शुड से व्हिच कवर पावर प्लांट एंड आरएसी even if you don't say the power plant they will ask from the power plant they will so ask from power plant so it's good to say that you you know the, and good to say and you read those things also uh-huh. it will make a positive impact uh-huh. then they will ask question for machine design i did my masters in machine design uh-huh. so what i can say that these the first two questions were and the pulley questions they were they have given me by covering by that that part of uh-huh. so mostly if i didn't prepare that machine design uh-huh. 
then I will not be able to crack that exam. But I actually get through it, uh -huh. and I will suggest uh, some uh, basic basic uh, questions. Uh -huh. Prepare uh, also prepare some basic question that can be asked like uh, uh, uranium equation, uh -huh. how neutron interact, uh -huh. how neutron fission program make. Recently, our uh, Honorable Prime Minister has also visited Kakrapa, so you should know where are the nuclear power plants what, of NPCL are located. What are the activities? Yeah, happening? what is IG car that is in Kalpakkam, and India is doing very well in research. So, yes, you should know the basic things of that thing because that can be asked asked by HR. Like, uh, where are what what is the NPCL future program? What do you think it is? Because NPCL is heavily uh, invested and inve investing many money into the project. Like. If you know Rajasthan 7-8 program, mm. then it is costing around 22,000 crore rupees. So, like producing 14,000 megawatt with 22,000 crore rupees. So, more vacancy will come in future, that I can say. Okay. So, in the end, I would like to say that uh, I will share the Instagram ID of the Ujwal. And if you, you have any kind of doubt, if you doubt, then you can ask the Ujwal. I will share Instagram ID on their Instagram ID. And if you have any query, then you can comment below. मैं जरूर आंसर करूंगा और मुझे भी आप मैसेज कर सकते हो अगर कोई क्वेरी है तो तो वो भी मैं शेयर करूंगा अपना जो भी है इनको शेयर करूंगा थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग और थैंक्स उज्ज्वल वंस अगेन थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी सचिन इट वाज ग्रेट ग्रेट प्लेजर बीइंग हियर थैंक यू